Rajdeep Sardesai joins me as well from Mumbai. Rajdeep, is Sachin Pilot finally going to get his due? He's been waiting patiently for his turn. Or will the magician be able to pull some kind of a trick and ensure that Sachin gets knocked out? Rahul, I just spoke to Ashok Gelot about half an hour ago. Okay. Asked him what, uh, what he was up to. And uh, he said that he was on his way to Kochi to meet Rahul Gandhi, to persuade Rahul Gandhi to become the uh, AICC president. But I think he sensed that that's not going to happen, that Rahul Gandhi has made up his mind. And he too, I think, Ashok Gelot is slowly reconciling himself to the idea that he will be possibly the next Congress president. The big question, of course, that what does that mean to Rajasthan? When I asked him that question, he said, Mujhe kursi se koi matlab nahi hai. मैंने कहा आपकी कुर्सी नहीं क्या आप ही का कोई नॉमिनी बनेगा विल समवन हु यू नॉमिनेट बिकम राजस्थान सीएम और विल इट बी सचिन पायलट दैट्स व्हेन ही गॉट वेरी गार्डेड ही सेड देखिए कांग्रेस पार्टी में जो हमारे लोग चाहते हैं वही होगा व्हाट पीपल वांट आई सेड पीपल इक्वल्स हाई कमांड ही इज ही स्माइल्ड एंड सेड आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू डिस्कस दैट सो क्लियरली Ashok Gelot, as I said, seems reconciled Rahul to the idea that he is more and more likely to contest for that Congress President's post, if at all there is that contest next week. But that a move from Jaipur to Delhi will leave a vacuum in Jaipur, which he ideally, I think, would like someone close to him, someone whom, who can control, Ra through whom, whom, he, whom he can continue to control Rajasthan, will be made CM. But I think the Gandhis themselves. <coughs> I have reportedly assured Sachin Pilot that he is next in line, that his turn uh, should come now because he's waited patiently for the last couple of years. And therefore, whether they can now convince Mr. Gelot not to do any kind of bargaining with them is the big question mark. Remember, Will I Gelot think, make a good uh, Rahul, Congress Rashid president? Report. How is he likely to fare? If the Gandhis are backing him, even if it's not openly, uh, it's highly likely that he'll mm -hmm. prevail in a battle with Shashi Tharoor. If and when he becomes Congress president, given the fact that the entire Congress machinery is trying to build up Rahul Gandhi through the Bharat Jodo Yatra, what will poor Gello do as Congress president? Will it be in name alone? You know, very interestingly, he told me that I will, I will be, I said, what will you now do uh, if you become Congress president? I will go with Rahul, I will go to the Yatra, I will go to the country, I will go to the country, I will go to the country, I will strengthen the organization. So it almost seems as if what his role, his role will be to do the difficult, some would say dirty task of actually getting the organization back on its feet. Because really that's where the Congress is in ICU. Yes, they have a leadership uh, question mark, but the bigger question mark is the state of the organization. There, Mr. Gelot, as someone who's been, who's seen the party for 50 years, who has friends both within the old guard and the new, as someone who enjoys the trust of the Gandhi family, as someone who's been general secretary organization, fulfilled very po many posts, has half a chance at least. But how will he function? Will he report almost on a daily basis uh, to the Congress high command, the Gandhi family? Or will he actually have independence and be empowered to do the task ahead of him? Is a question mark. I am told that Rahul Gandhi is very clear that whoever becomes Congress president must be given full authority over the organization. Rahul Gandhi himself will be the mascot going to different parts of the country, trying to, in a way, redefine the image of the Congress while Gaylord does the organization. But that's not really building. how so politics that functions. Seems to be politics the jody is about the Congress where is going people with. draw their power from, Rajdeep. And if power is still drawn from the generator of Rahul Gandhi, then Ashok Gaylord is... President in name alone, but that generator doesn't have any fuel coming into it. It's not really firing up in any way. You know, look, Rahul, at one level, we are all completely cynical and skeptical of the Congress because we've seen the Congress never miss an opportunity to miss an opportunity. But, you know, look at what happened in 2017 in Gujarat. Gelot was the general secretary in charge of that campaign in Gujarat. He handled that campaign to a large extent as an organizational person. He had Ahmad Patel helping him. There's no Ahmad Patel now. No, no, no. In that campaign, there was Ashok Gelot organizationally doing a lot of the work, and Rahul Gandhi campaigned aggressively in Gujarat in 2017, and the Congress almost pulled it off. They brought the BJP into double digits. So look, I am not saying that miracles will happen. 
I think the Congress is still, you know, has woken up too late to the kind of challenges it faces. It's been a patient in ICU for much too long. But I think Gelot as the organizational man, Rahul Gandhi, you know, hitting the road as he is, Priyanka Gandhi Vadra, who also we are told is going to hit the road in a possible bus yatra next year, I think at least gives an element of energy which has been missing so far and enables the party to maybe also effect a generational uh, change in a ch uh, state like Rajasthan, which is one of the many uh, critical states that the Congress faces in the next uh, 14 to 15 months. So, you know, at the moment, the glass looks half empty, but for the Congress, a Gelot rahul gandhi combination appears to be what they seem to be increasingly settling upon.